I got this old cart. Sick of kicking the tools around and having to move them. I had this thing in the basement, but I brought it up here. I think it'll be very useful. Here we go. Carton on over here. Oh, here we go. Look at that. And I'm here. Again, for anyone who's new to this channel, uh, run now. Shit sucks. Terrible content. Um, as I said many times, I'm not qualified to tell anybody what to do with electrical. I just do it anyway. So you can take any of this with a grain of salt. That said, you can look this up. Uh, light switches and all that are 48 inches from the ground. Outlets usually 16. Uh, there's a variety of different boxes you can get. These are the cheapest I've found. Little two nail jobbers. Some people will probably cringe when I tell them this, but uh, I like to, you get the two nails in there on either ones, but I like to throw a screw on the side through the box. Make sure it stays when I put the drywall up. I know I'm kind of all over the shop today, but uh, try to get the bigger things up in the ceiling before the try to do things in some sort of order. So I want to get some of the duct work in before I do the electrical, so that way I'm not working my way around that. This is referred to as a slip joint. This runs through a crimper, crimping it down so it can slide onto the next piece. Uh, when I was in the Air Force, they actually had us take, uh, I was in this six week sheet metal forming class. We did all this math and figured out how to make like Pittsburgh locking seams and standing seams and all this sort of shit. And uh, <clears throat> never once in my life we used it. Uh, never, if you do a big job, normally like you get pre-made stuff or you send in an order and a computer, CAD, whatever, bends it all for you. Um, yeah, uh, they even sent me to a refresher. Four years of being in a sheet metal shop and never once actually forming sheet metal. <laughs> that's that's little government, little government stuff, wacky. However, all that government cheese is useful today. Um, these are pre-made duct joints. They're designed to fit inside a stud wall. They're heavy because there's a bunch inside of there. Um, yeah, they're designed to fit inside a stud wall. And you have to slip joint it yourselves, or yourself, or none of y'all are gonna do this. But then you, once you get the slip joint in together, I just put a little crimp in it and it holds it tight. self-tapping sheet metal screws. Even though these are factory, I still like to tighten them up a little bit.
Wiring up a switch. Doing it just like this. If you want a diagram, go to Google. You little bitch. Well, the electrical bits and bobs only took me a better part of uh, eight hours, I guess. But uh, time to go down to see if uh, see if I won or not. It's electric. Do 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 duct work and then uh, start slanging drywall in only one of the five rooms so this job might take me maybe three four months a lot longer than I anticipated <laughs> but this room was massive hopefully the other rooms not as much framing and whatnot but uh, still maybe I underestimated the amount of time this job will We'll take up here because I ain't even done bathrooms yet. One, I'm building a bathroom from nothing. So, but anyway, uh, essentially, what's going to happen to this channel? Uh, I got to find a better way to do it, really. This videos because I can't be doing how tos and then just a repeat process. I mean, the next room I'll probably do is the bathroom. So that'll be a minute. So you'll learn a little bit about plumbing and tile work and. Uh, what not to do but in bathroom scenarios so yeah uh, that's it I'm gonna go take a nap